Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, quick aside before I start this interview. My guest, John Strong, here is uh, executive director of the uh, Lake George Arts Project. But in another life, he's an infamous musician with an infamous band called the Stony Creek Band. So we do a mic check before we do each interview. So I looked over at John and I said, how many mic checks have you done? Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be in the tens of thousands, John. Who knows? John. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Yeah. That's right. Um, welcome back, John. Thank you. Great Thanks. to have you here as always. Uh, the Lake George Arts Project, very, very progressive thinking, bring all kinds of amazing art projects into the Glens Falls area. And uh, John was, the last time John was here, we were talking about the uh, People's Pixel Project. Well, this uh, Sunday, coming yep. up at uh, the Hyde Collection in Glens Falls, they're uh, going to have a show for the winners. So we're going to talk about that. There's a wonderful uh, art exhibit that's happening at the courthouse, right? Isn't that what it is in downtown Lake George Village? Yep. And then a, a golf tournament as well. So let's go from the top, the Pixel Project. Uh, it's now in our eighth year, um, and we had uh, we have a, a jury who reviews these uh, videos. For the most part, they're short, four, five-minute things. Mm -hmm. We also have a category called short shorts, which is one minute or less, and uh, the quality is brilliant. It's it's broadcast quality stuff, mm -hmm. and it's uh, different ages, but we a lot of school uh, age uh, kids. Mm -hmm. They're so savvy and creative, and uh, we have different categories. There's narrative, where it's tell a story, mm -hmm. tunes, which is music video. Uh, there's documentaries. There's animated stuff, and this is all just excellent stuff. And yeah. uh, we're going to uh, screen, there were 23 finalists this year, and we're going to screen them all at 2 o'clock Sunday at the Hyde Collection. Uh, they have a really nice auditorium there, in Freilich uh, Auditorium. Holds about 140. We'll probably get 100, maybe 120 people out. Mm -hmm. And it all goes pretty quick, you know, it was three minute video, four minute video. Um, at the conclusion, the audience um, votes on their favorite overall uh, video. And uh, new this year, uh, the winner of that will be invited to participate to screen uh, their film at the Adirondack Film Festival. Oh, what? Which Very cool. Chad is, Rabinowitz. It's great. Yes, uh, sure. We're working with Ch Chad Rabinowitz. Yes. Uh, Adirondack Theater Festival on this. You know, they did that for the first time. Last year? Last October. That's right. And it was a huge hit, <laughs> huge hit. You know, Chad uh, is a guest here uh, right before the film festival, and I remember him telling me, John, he was very apprehensive about whether anybody would even show up, and the oh. thing was a phenomenal success. So uh, it's this Sunday at 2 o'clock at the Hyde Collection, Right there in downtown Glens Falls on Ridge Street. It's actually on Warren Street. Oh, it's sorry. Warren Street. Sorry, it is Warren Street. You're right, John. <laughs> uh, it's like ten bucks. You get to see all of the films. It's a wonderful crowd. Let's let's blow the doors off 150 people, and uh, you get to select the winner that will have a place in the Adirondack Film Festival coming up. Um, John, I want to talk about the exhibit. Uh, Rachel Cohn is the artist. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I recall that she uh, actually studied at Skidmore. Yeah, she got an undergraduate her degree. Her work there. is uh, very involved. I, I, I actually just want to read. It's actually three dimensional. She carves and then she puts a layer of paint or wax over it to give it shadow, depth, some color. And they're small pieces, but like, like some of the great art, there's so much involved in the size of her pieces. And very beautiful, very involved work, right? Yeah, it's, most of these pieces are small, as you say. Mm -hmm. They're they're seven by seven inches. Wow! Because so it was very intricate, and of course, uh, you know, these are landscapes. She's dealing with nature, and so uh, um, it's going to be very fascinating work. I think she is also doing a 
a series on, uh, on handmade paper. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's going to be a lot to see. Yes, yes, and, right. And uh, the opening for that is coming up real soon. It's a uh, week from Saturday. It's uh, May 6th. We're in the old county courthouse, right in the heart of Lake George Village, right next to Shepherd Park. That's right, yeah. And reception will be from 4 to 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, we usually the artist will give a talk, which is really fascinating because he, sometimes you can go to an art show and you say, where are we going with this? And uh, yeah. when the artist talks about their show, it's just you learn so much more. Well, you know what? You, you learn about what inspires them, what motivates them, and it gives you an insight into the piece. Uh, it, it's the same with music, you know? A lot mm -hmm. of times when you know what the artist is talking about or trying to convey, then you become part of that experience. It's uh, very, very cool stuff. Yeah, and you know, I'm really not the guy. You know, my uh, co-worker, Laura Von Rosk, mm -hmm. is, is, the, is the gallery director and she could talk at great length about uh, the work in the gallery. But you know uh, what? It's a wonderful time to get to downtown Lake George and the courthouse building. You can't miss it. It's this gorgeous, beautiful old yeah. building right next to Shepherd Park. Um, oh, you know what? I want to talk about the golf tournament, too. We're out, of, we're out of time. This happens frequently when John and I get together. Uh, but i got to do a quick shout-out to Jim and Jeannie Cronin. You know, I talk a lot about Cronin's, and every year we go out there to talk to Jim and Jeannie. Uh, Saturday, May 13, which is the weekend after that, there's a golf tournament at Cronin's. Gorgeous golf course that Jim hand picks every blade of grass there. I swear yeah. to God he does. He's so involved with this along the Hudson River, and that's a major fundraiser for the Lake George Arts Project, so that all of the summer concerts, the jazz weekend in, in the fall, and all of these art exhibits is free to right. everyone. Right. Isn't that something? Yeah, so these fundraisers help us out, and we hope people will come out and participate with us. Yeah, I, I'm going to make absolutely certain we get a hold of Jim and Jeannie and make certain yeah. that we get some people out there. But please make note of the following. This Sunday, 2 o'clock, at the Hyde Collection is the People's Pixel Project. Fabulous films. Um, on Saturday, May 6th, the next Saturday, is the uh, opening of Linear Landscapes by Rachel Cohen at the Courthouse Gallery in downtown Lake George. And then the following Saturday, May 13, is a golf tournament at Cronin's Golf Resort in Warrensburg. You have to see this place. <laughs> uh, John, great to see you as always. Great to see you. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. And we'll have you back again before the Summer Concert Series so we can tell everybody about that. Excellent. Okay. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it.